they got Green Acres started, and uh, <clears throat> they called me for a pig for Green Acres. And they it was supposed to be at the at the uh, train station in a baby buggy, and uh, and Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies is supposed to think it's a baby. So I had to tie this pig and get it to stop squealing and feed it on a on a bottle and it was tied with a blanket over it. And they uh, it got the scene done and then uh, it was such a cute scene that they decided to do something else with it and then they did a, a thing with it walking in a scene. And then they didn't use it for a while. It was getting kind of big. And it got pretty big. And I called a man in, had him butcher the pig. And the day that we were going to have our first piece of pork from this pig, they called and they wanted the pig on Monday morning, and this was a Friday evening. And well, none of us could eat on that pig. I had to go out and get another pig and tie it down, work with it over the weekend, and we got the job done. And then I went, there was a hiatus, and I went back to Indiana. <coughs> and a farmer back there named Jim Clem, he had uh, a litter of pigs. And so I picked out a couple of pigs and fed them on a bottle, and they followed me around like a dog. And I, uh, I brought them home with me. And they weren't going to do any more uh, things with the, with the pig in it because, you know, tying them down and all that stuff wasn't much good. And so I come walking in with, the, with these pigs following me. And shoot, I had them doing all kinds of things, laying down and, and pulling wagons and carrying things. And so they started riding Arnold in. I, they started him in the picture when he was about 50, 60 pounds, and he worked till he was about 200 pounds, and I'd get more, do it all over again. And uh, So that second pig became Arnold. That's the one that became Arnold. And uh, so I had a, always had a male and a female, and it was very funny. The female, I'd paste a male piece underneath, uh, you know, and... Uh, and uh, it uh, also, I fixed the fake testicles, pasted over the feminine part of it. And uh, so... Um, so there were two Arnolds. You always had two. I, I had two of everything. And, uh, and they, then Pat Buttram, he wanted to make a personal appearance. And I'm back in Indiana and I talked to him, and he wanted he wanted to take Arnold on this personal appearance. So I I called my son-in-law, who had helped me train on some of the Arnolds. I said, "You take the take the Arnold that uh, that you work with the best, which happened to be the female." And. Uh, so when he got to Kansas City, they met him there with the, with the governor's plane to take Arnold down to, I got it all in, in script form in, the, in newspaper clippings and stuff in the side there. But anyway, they couldn't get the crate in this small plane. So my son-in-law had to lead Arnold in on a leash. And everything was fine until they got to this place at the airport where they met this governor's plane at the airport and and they lead Arnold out and and some old farmer there says, says Arnold's a shoot, he's a female. And that upset everybody. <laughs> and uh, but when they got through working with it, why uh, it was a big hit for, for Pat Buttram. And then they would make personal appearance everywhere. And then Eva Gabor started making, making uh, 
appearances, and they always wanted Arnold with her. One time it was on the Jack Carson show, and she let Arnold in, and Arnold would sit beside her, and they would talk about it. And all at once she says, Arnold, what are you doing on my dress? <laughs> Arnold had just peed on it. And it just kind of broke up the show. And a week later, she, they set it up with me, and Eva Gabor runs out on when Carson is doing his opening dialogue. And what out and says, could you, could you babysit for me? And 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 Carson looked at her, and uh, uh, she ran off the stage. And he said, "You think that I'm going to babysit her pig?" And she ran out with Eleanor the cow. <laughs> and 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 so after that, uh, they call for Eva Gabor on television shows up in San Francisco, but they want Arnold the pig with her. And so I had to send a man with Arnold the pig with Eva Gabor. And the fan mail started coming in. I'll never forget. When that fan mail started coming in, I didn't know what to do. And uh, it got to be 35, 40,000 pictures, uh, uh, fan mail a year, you know, have to be answered. And uh, I got so I I answered most of them, and then uh, then Green Acres started answering them for me. One time, Eva Gabor got uh, a dozen fan later, letters, and Arnold the Pig got one or two. And well, she says, isn't that cute? <laughs> and uh, next thing I know, they came in with three big mail sacks and throw down the, in front of Eva Gabor, fan letters, they said. Oh my goodness, he says. They're for Arnold the Pig. I had gone to 4-H clubs and stuff all over the United States with Arnold the Pig, and so all these 4-H clubs have written in. And Eva says, that dreadful pig. <laughs> so I thought, because now she out fan mailed her. But uh, it was nothing to what the fan mail started when it started coming with Benji.